Alright, welcome to what I'm calling this. I think it's plug and play Let's Plays, I guess. I guess that's my name now. I don't freaking know. Uh, fair warning, this is the second time I am recording this. So I will probably be more bitter and bombed out than even my usual self. And since this is my first video, you'll probably never, ever know the difference. So, let us begin our long journey into the depression hole. Oh, you may call me Mads. M-A-D-D-S-S. -S. Just think 2DS, because I was too cheap to actually buy a 3DS. Which is true! So let us begin. F-22. What to say about it? I don't know if that's an F-22. And that copyright looks really funky with all those letters. I should probably actually look up what an F-22 looks like at some point in my life. Okay. Alright, shoot the things. I think they're supposed to be enemy planes, but I honestly can't tell what they are. And you get the things and their power-ups. It, it's a standard shmup. It's really nothing special. You know, it looks like it probably could have been on an 8-bit system at some point. I don't like the way those waves look. They are freaky. You know, it just, it looks just, I don't know. I can't even describe why, but they just look weird to me. I don't know. And these turret things are just a pain in the ass to deal with. Any shooter that has turrets is, well, shoot them up, that has turrets is almost automatically on my shit list. Because... I'm already, I'm, I'm already just worried about all the crap that's flying around. I mean, I don't, I don't want to have to worry about the stuff on the ground too. And I'm always like, do the are bullets just curving down to hit them? Is that what's happening? You know, I mean, why can I hit them at the same, presumably the same altitude as whatever else I'm shooting here? I'd really like to know what these are, even. I mean, I know, I know there's probably supposed to be planes, but they they don't look like planes of any kind to me. Are they UFOs? Am I saving the Earth? Do I actually want to save the Earth? That's a, that's a question you, you seriously got to ask the guy flying the plane. Do, do you want to save the Earth? Because it, the answer is not always going to be yes. I mean, he could have just gotten a divorce or is a chronic alcoholic or who you know has given up you know you never know i just you know there's just too many assumptions made already off the bat to for me to be comfortable with you know and these bomb things I collect, I guess they're as good as anything, you know, to collect. But I, I guess it would be better if they were, like, labeled with, like, like what the power-ups are. Because they're obviously not all the same, and they don't go in a straight line of whatever they do. You know, it's not like, oh, when you have two of these, you get this. No, no, that's not the, that's the way this thing is programmed. And I, this, this controls great, though. I mean... It does not feel bad to control, which I, which you know I, I have to give it credit for for being on this device. <sighs> you know it it, uh, it does not feel bad. The they're like if I complain about anything about this game, it's all personal taste, and it's really not a. You know, in-depth opinion. Just not, it's all surface here. There's no depth. No depth in this. It's shooting other planes for the sake of shooting other planes. I keep saying planes, but 
It, 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 I don't know why. To me, they look like the fucking Banch, the Bancho Pan from Dragon Ball, but, you know, I'm pretty sure that's not it. I don't know. <sighs> Fuck turrets. I just, I just hate turrets. I, I swear a lot. Uh, that is not for effect. That That is just simply how I am. And I don't know if it's a character flaw or what, but I have no intention of correcting it ever, you know? So, so if swearing's not your bag, just, or if you think I swear too much, I don't know what to tell you. I probably could use a curse word here to tell you something, but... I choose not to, because I'm just like that. If I'm going to offend you, I want to do it in a way that challenges you. So, this is game over now, and I feel sad. Like a hole is left inside of me. Or else that's, the, you know, this being the second time doing it. Alright, so, Reset. And Racing Fighter, no. Yeah, I, I, I told you this second night. I still don't don't have the hang of how to control this goddamn mini joystick thing to select things. It's it is it is sad. I am a sad sad person. You know, but sads doesn't sound very good. So you know, whatever. Racing fighter. Uh. Cool name. That's all I got for that, really. Cool name. And as with any driving game, I am automatically terrible. But this one is especially bad because of one distinctive feature is the A is, or the B is gas, and it's not like an NES pad. It is AB, not BA. And. This is so the it's so small and the buttons are at an angle. So instead of just being able to, I don't know, press the gas and then just lean my thumb over to, you know, shoot, I actually have to take my fingers off the other side and, and put my index and middle finger using my middle finger to gas and using my index to shoot hold, even using my thumb to hold it up more and it is the most god awful uncomfortable way but it's the only way I feel like I have any semblance of control that is adequate you know it, it just and then you run out of you, you run out of shots which sucks but you know I get it they, they can't it would kind of make turn it into a you know weird ass shoot 'em up otherwise and now I'm out of fuel man I wish when you ran out of fuel in real life that you, you know they just reset you back where you were so you can make better choices in life you know instead of just meandering around going I have no fuel I need fuel Fuel for me, please. Please give me fuel. I don't know. I don't even know if, if these things, if any of these are fuel trucks or anything like that. I have no information about this game. And it, it really doesn't give me much to work with anyway. I mean, I have a score. Or a fuel get. Like, is that a timer at the top and fuel at the bottom? And I don't know what gives me fuel so I could... I, I just don't know. I don't know. Yes. You get some great commentary with me when I'm like this. Just mumbling and telling you exactly that I don't know what I am doing. See, and it's like once you stop having to shoot, or stop trying to shoot at all, it becomes just, or, you know top-down racing game that average I guess I don't know I'm not an expert on them didn't even have a 
game system that had one of these. Hell, I didn't even. I, I had a. I had a Game Boy, the brick Game Boys, and a computer. So all you and you know, I played other systems at other people's houses. I never had one of my own for a very, very long time. So a lot of this, you know, is just. I, I, I've played quite a bit of emulators, you know, because I, once I figured out emulators and I had a PC, I could do it then, but, you know. This is one of those, if I would have downloaded the ROM, I would have immediately deleted it because it does not hold my interest, as you can see. Because I cannot stay on the subject of whatever this is to save my life at all. It's just screams boredom to me. Ugly, ugly boredom. Oh, yes. It's probably not helping I'm recording this at like 3 in the morning. But then again, my other one would have been recorded early, too. It's just... It's just, yeah, I got crap going on that it would make even more noise than my microphone's probably already picking up, which is already depressing me. Uh, I hit a checkpoint? Hey, go me! Go me, I stopped trying and I, and I do better than I ever have on this. So the lesson is don't try. Children, don't try. Just just stop paying attention and, and let it all fall into your lap naturally. You know? But, you know, don't try. Trying is, is for people that are successful and you'll never be successful. At least that's what everybody always told me. You'll never be successful. And they were right. So. Yeah. Well, everybody didn't tell me that. I mean, I had some teachers that told me that, but most of the time it's, you're not working up to your potential. It'll be like, what is this potential you keep telling me to work up to? I, I don't understand what it is. You know, please explain. And I'm done with this. No. Vanguard. It's supposed to be Vanguard, I'm sure of it, but Vanguard is awesome and it sounds like a black metal band singer. Or band itself. Vanguard. So, let us protect the land of Vanguard. And it is a crappy tank game! Enjoy! Stage 1. I hate tank games. They are so boring. Just... Not to mention this tank is so slow and feels just so ineffectual. I will give it that everything takes like one hit, like a, everything really would with a tank. I mean, because if, if something is shot with a tank, it, it generally does not just come back. It's gone. You you have lost the thing that the tank hit. You know? It is. You've just lost it. It, it is never coming back. It is not a, if you set it free, it, if it truly loves you, it'll come back type of dealy. It is a, I just, you know, got blown up by a fucking tank. You know, obvious information that you will hear more of if you decide to subscribe to this garbage, this hot mess, stinky garbage that I will call my channel. Garbage in, garbage out. Garbage games like this. I don't know. I, I guess 
tank games have never appealed to me. Tanks don't appeal to me, I guess, even. Because tanks are just... You know, you're either too powerful or not powerful enough. You know? But you're always, always slow as ass. And when I... What, is that a Mahjong tile I'm supposed to collect, or... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That would be kind of cool, though. You have to collect all the, like, tiles in the hand of Mahjong. That would, that would actually be an interesting idea. I don't know. I've tried to learn how to play, like, not the clicky-matchy Mahjong, but the... One with the hands, it's kind of like poker, in a way. Yeah, no. That, that, that is far too many rules and subtleties for me to learn and retain any kind of interest. You know? You know, it's not like Go, which is a simple idea, and it is a simple to, you know, get into, no, without much outside knowledge. You know. And I was just talking about Oriental board games while playing this, which is a sign to its chittiness, I suppose. Okay. Animal blockus. Blocus. Blocus? Like locus? Alright. And start. And there is your animal, Blokus, staring you at you in the face. Let us now ascend or descend more into its... into its ample bosom, I suppose. They're all mammals, so I assume they bo have bosoms of some sort. I mean, I don't know, per se, but, you know. And speaking of Mahjong, the clicky pointy kind, that's what this is. And I find it infinitely relaxing. Like all of my cares melt away by just. just clicking on these animal portraits. I wish it wasn't so pixelatedly garbage, though. Like, I, I get the general idea of what these animals are, but, you know, nothing, you know, I can't tell, like, special differences. And why do people always make bears so happy looking? Bears are not happy. Bears want to murder you. They don't want to murder you. They, they will if they get the chance. Don't screw with bears. Don't screw with bears, children. And don't screw with your bears, because I'm very sure that is illegal in most states. Or countries. And is, you know, just, just unethical. You know, there's, you, you know, the animal cannot consent, and screwing a bear would probably get you murdered anyway. As you should be, because you were dumb enough to do that. You know. Pigs are weird looking to me. This, I think this is supposed to be a monkey face, but I, I, it's too smushed for me to really tell. You know, honestly tell. You know, I, I suppose like this would have been... If this was just, you know, on a, a PC, I would, I would have played this as a kid. I mean... I played a lot of Mahjong. I also played a lot of a version of it called Solitile that... If anybody else, you know, knows of it, let me know, but... I remember we actually had to find a copy of it on the internet because my grandfather just loved that game. And we had to find it for him. I mean, he played the regular Mahjong, but he just really, really liked Solitile for some reason. You know, not to mention, you know, he's, he's up there in years and he's, you know, using a computer, so that's also impressive, I suppose. 
And I suppose things a lot, and I use words like suppose a lot. You'll find that I repeat words quite often. I don't know if it's a character flaw or flaw for what I'm doing, but it will happen. I really hate this thumbstick. It is... It is so uncomfortable. You know? It's like... It's like using a marble on a stick. You know, to control something. It, it doesn't feel good. And everything is clear. Clear. Ah, yes. Making fun of people that English wasn't their first language. The right of any English speaker. At least that's what they tell me. They're probably wrong. But who knows? Alright. And... Reset. There's no back in this, so I have to reset every time, because... Technical limitations of it, I suppose. Magic... Johnny. Johnny? Johnny. Magic? Joe or Joe New York. I, I always think Joey looks chachi when I see that. Or, like, here's Johnny. Either way, it's incorrect, though. So. Okay. We have our little fox looking creature and some awful, awful music. Because nutrition sucks, huge monsters and plants have been streaming protected. The Greenland is becoming to wasteland. Until one day, a little hero called Johnny has. Yep. Just as I remember it. Too fast to read. I pressed no buttons there. None. Absolutely none. So, don't blame me if you could not read that. Blame the programmers. You can also blame them for this awful, awful music. And the weirdness of these controls. I mean, it's, it's a fun little game. Like, if, if this was in an arcade cabinet, like in the 80s, it would have done, it would have done fine. You know, you got the little green-eared fox look. I, I don't know what he is. Like, at all. Like, what, what's really weird here is that each button has the Venus tri flytrap plant swallow in a different direction, in either one of the two directions you can go. The thing is, though, is that they're reversed from the direction they are on the controls themselves. Which has already added to the confusion of this thing going A, B, and not B, A. Instead of, like, you, like, if you use numbers, I don't get confused. You know, if it had been 1, 2, that would have been fine, but... I don't know. Ah, Nintendo, you made oh, many, many children dyslexic. At least, that's what I will claim for this video. And then instantly deny if anyone brings it up again. Or at least, that is my dastardly plan. I like these little green dudes. I like their look. You know, just... They're just doing it. You know? They know they they don't got... They don't got much, but... They're just doing what they gotta do. You know, they're hard workers. And I have to collect some I'm like I'm sorry I have to collect keys out of your corpses man it's like these things dissolve you know those those plants dissolve their bodies quick I mean this is like a serial killer's wet dream of, of body disposal because I mean it's like nothing is left except keys for some reason you know and this uh, again this controller decides to be weird what in the fuck, monkey? Okay. Well, that is enough of magic, Johnny. We will now go to the menu. 